all hands on deck for a new tutorial on how to set up light gun games, aka aim track light gun games on the Dolphin emulator. Arr. For people that do not know what the Dolphin emulator is, it allows you to emulate Wii and GameCube games. Normally to play light gun games through the Dolphin emulator, you would need a Dolphin bar and two Wii remotes. But we want to play all our games with just the aim track light guns for a badass arcade experience. At least I do anyways. Let's get started with downloading the Dolphin emulator, link provided below. After the download is complete, unpack the contents to a location on your computer. Let's set up our controls for the Dolphin emulator. Open the install folder and run the dolphin.execute file. Go to Options, Controller Settings. Under GameCube Controllers, select Standard Controller. Make sure Emulate with Wii's Bluetooth adapter is checked. For the drop-down, select the Emulate Wii Remote and then click Configure. Under Device, select your AimTrack light gun. Click the drop down and select keyboard and mouse. A tip when setting up your controls. After entering the configure input screen, press the button you're trying to map and it will light up red. Navigate to this button and click on it. Click select and then OK. Make sure when you map each button to select the keyboard and mouse before mapping the key. For mapping the Y and X axis, go to the Motion Simulation tab. Under the Points section, you can set each command. And just like before, make sure to set the Configure input to keyboard and mouse. Sometimes you might have to set up the Y axis calibration in reverse. Games like House of the Dead 2 and 3 for the Wii are in reverse for some reason. Every time you set your Y or X axis, you can test it out by moving your gun or mouse around. You will see a small dot move around inside the display box. For some reason, if you select the wrong command, you can always delete the command line inside the command line box below. After setup is complete, save your profile and exit. Also, to remove the mouse from the shooting games, you can go to Settings, Interface, check the Always Hide Mouse Cursor checkbox, and then Close. Now you're ready to play Wii Light Gun games with your AimTrack Light Gun. Like I said before, this setup will eliminate the use of having the dolphin bar alongside your aim track sensor bar. If you like this video and want to see more, just sit on the like button, roundhouse the subscribe button, and belly flop the notification bell for future video notifications. I've used both the dolphin bar and the aim track sensor bar, and the aim track sensor bar is by far the best option when it comes to accuracy and standing distance from your arcade. Hope this tutorial helps you out, you scallywags. Until next time, buckos, this is the Arcade Pirate, sailing out. Mwah.